Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Drone shootings on the rise. AMA provides alert for hurricane operations. And King Schools introduces online drone pilot recurrent test prep. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. One of the dirty little secrets about sport and commercial drone operations is that negative media hysteria, often drummed up by so-called journalists who can barely spell UAV, is creating hazards for drones, their operators, and the public by inciting fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Worse, there is a great potential for even greater harm when expended ammo comes down, where it may hit a human being. Recently, a DJI Inspired 2 was shot down. The aircraft was flying at nearly 200 feet AGL. The pilot said via a Facebook post that he was documenting the construction of a bridge in his neighborhood. He said he checked his log to see where the drone was lost and went to a house near the location where the contact was lost. The homeowner was initially evasive, but then admitted that he had shot down the drone and returned it with an apology. The gun-toting neighbor claimed that he thought he had airspace rights over his property and that he thought the pilot was peeping into his backyard where his wife was sunbathing. But the pilot explained that it was late in the evening and that was not the reason for his flight. The pilot filed a report with the police, who said they would be turning it over to the local prosecutor, where it will hopefully get the attention it deserves. We'll keep you updated. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The 2018 FAI International Drones Conference and Expo concluded last week after a weekend of intense, exciting, and innovative discussion. Over three days, drone sport, safety, and innovation were three subjects under discussion in the conference hall, where 35 speakers from across the world of drones and aviation spoke over three sessions. Pilots also went head-to-head -head at the EPFL Drone Racing Cup 2018, part of the FAI Drone Racing World Cup Series. Nags Head, North Carolina has passed a revised drone ordinance after city leaders realized that their portions of their local law were superseded by federal regulations. While somewhat improved over previous concepts, AMA is working with a town concerning a portion that prohibits using small unmanned aircraft for racing, aerobatics, or 3D purposes, unless at an event permitted by the town. The ruling appears to prohibit any aerobatic flights, by model aircraft, other than at a sanctioned event. Unique has announced the expansion of its commercial UAV payload offering with the availing of the all-new E10T, an advanced thermal camera for commercial applications. The E10T is an all-in-one 3-axis gimbal, dual thermal imaging, and low-light camera available in two versions. 320 by 256 pixel or 640 by 512 pixel thermal resolution, each with different lens options. The E10T will be sold separately and available later this year, starting at $4,999. We're not sure that we'll see a sport application anytime soon, but Southwest Research Institute engineers are developing a cooled radio gas turbine for a small generator that provides thousands of hours of electricity to a UAV, a significant improvement to current UAV turbines that operate a few hundred hours before wearing out. The problem with current models is that during the generator's combustion process, the turbine is constantly bathed in high temperature gas that ultimately damages or destroys it. That was our Drill Minute, now back to the rest of the news. AMA has posted an alert concerning this week's issue with Hurricane Florence. Florence is due to make landfall on the coast of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia Friday. 
AMA notes that the storm is projected to bring record-breaking rain and wind to the area and has prompted mandatory evacuations along the East Coast. Given these conditions, it is of the utmost importance that all UAS operators refrain from flight. As an AMA member, you know to stay grounded, but we urge you to spread the word to other UAS operators who may not know that flight before, during, and after the storm can be dangerous. Following the storm, important emergency response and relief efforts will be underway. All UAS operators should check for active TFRs. Furthermore, although post-storm conditions may seem clear to fly, you must not interfere with any of these crucial operations. UAS can be a helpful tool during disaster relief, but unless you are working directly with relief efforts, you must stay clear and allow the professionals to do their vital work. It's also important to note that unauthorized UAS operators may be subject to significant fines if they interfere with emergency response and relief operations. Flying a drone without authorization in or near a disaster area may violate federal, state, or local laws and ordinances, even if a TFR is not in place. Worried about getting up to date for your remote pilot certificate renewal? King Schools has just released an online course specifically geared to that need. Martha King, co-chairman of King Schools, said the FAA Remote Pilot Recurrent Knowledge Test eliminates questions on many areas that applicants were required to know for their initial certification. This shorter course makes preparation for the recurrent test quick and easy by focusing tightly on the topics required for recertification. It also gives drone pilots the tools they need to learn about changes in FAA regulations, procedures, and airspace and stay out of trouble with the FAA. John King, the other co-chairman of King Schools, added, since it was released in January of 2017, over 4,000 drone operators have passed their initial remote pilot knowledge test using our drone pilot license test prep course. We have more than 400 reviews for the course, and almost all of them have a 5-star rating. Our customers enjoy the HD video and the regulations lesson, the interactive FAA-style questions, and the extended content throughout the course. Our recertification course continues that same style. The King School's online drone pilot recurrent test prep course can be purchased for $59 from kingschools.com. Purchasers have lifetime access to the course. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.